Welcome back to a brand new Hearts of Iron 4 Country Template Guide. As you can guess today by the title, we are covering Italy. Now, if anybody has any interest in catching out a bunch more template guides, make sure in the top right you click that little card and you will have a playlist open up to where you can see like five or six different country templates. I forget the actual number, but I'm trying to cover all the majors. So since we are doing Italy, we're covering pretty much all the stuff that Italy would be expected to have done for their Germany overlord by 1939, maybe 1940-ish, somewhere in that ballpark, probably more than likely 1939, and also for our land, or our uh, battle plan, uh, land doctrine, we want down superior firepower. Now this one's not gonna actually matter because this just changes the entrenchment speed and the entrenchment itself a unit can get, so it's not gonna really make that big of a difference on the templates themselves that we're going to be covering today. So for our first template, let's cover the garrison division. Now, this is pretty much something you would use normally to guard your island, your ports, and all this kind of stuff if the allies have air superiority. The reason you have AA to the extent as you do on here is because it's expected that you're probably going to be facing tactical bombers, you're going to be expecting fighters, all that kind of stuff. And as long as you have a couple AA guns in here, you'll be able to shoot down the cast, you will be able to take down their tactical bombers if they're bombing you in multiplayer, and they will also be able to remove the air superiority bonus that the enemy will have over you inside of the battle. Since you have one AA gun per minimum of 10 combat width, which you by on doubt have, you will be able to totally remove the air superiority bonus the enemy gets over you normally in battle. For our second garrison template, it's more of the same, but this one is made for Africa. Now, you could actually mix these two together inside of divisions, but I wouldn't recommend I would wait until you see the AA template do that. This one is made to go up against enemy tanks and say, for example, El Alamein or something like that. These are there just to kind of pierce the tank division armor and just straight up cause damage to the South African heavy tanks, El Alamein. If you don't have to worry about that or you're in single player, you can usually not even have to worry about this kind of a template that's so high piercing and decent heart attack volume this should be all right to kind of ignore if you're in single player but if you're a multiplayer i would highly recommend getting at least a few of these out now we have our aa template you're probably wondering what in god's name have i done well what this is doing is whenever you have a fight in hearts of iron 4 where two divisions are actually well we're not gonna say two but like say 10 divisions are attacking a single province even though this unit will not be in combat and if it does it's probably going to get almost instantly routed if the enemy is using casts inside of the battle, you're going to have so much AA as soon as your division actually goes into the battle, you'll be able to take out almost all of their casts in an instant, or if not all of it, a ridiculously large amount. I mean, after all, your air attack itself already is 187, so you're going to do a lot of damage to the planes. But if you have, I think it's about six versus six divisions in the battle, it's completely random who targets who. So this unit might not even get attacked for a while, and it's going to be sitting in the battle just constantly shooting down enemy planes. So you can do a lot of damage to enemy casts if the allies have gone heavy into cast production, tactical bomber production, help them in the war, stuff like that. Now let's cover our main infantry. Basically, this is just an infantry division to kind of hold the line since Italy most of the time is going to be defensive. So this is something you could easily use and get away with if you're, say, for example, trying to help Germany fill out the front line in the Soviets a little bit. Try to help fill out the lines in the Alpine region over here in the forts. Maybe you could even swap these over to Mountaineers and make a few of those to work over there. That is some things you could do with this template, but it's just a very basic infantry template that's not that expensive to produce. Now this template is the one you're probably expected to use in Africa more than anywhere else. Now this one as you can tell is a lot like the old one that I just showed you guys except we also have a logistics company so it cuts down our supply. We have a support AA so we can take out some enemy planes and remove some penalties and we have a support anti-tank gun increasing our piercing in case we have to worry about the American tanks or uh, correction the South African heavy tanks or the Canadian mechanized units. So this is a pretty good template to use in Africa due to all those extra bonuses you can get but it's probably not going to hold too long unless you have some German support or some more infantry divisions with anti-tank there since the Allies, uh, South Africa and Canada, and maybe even a couple other allies are going to bring some tanks and stuff to hold El Alamein. Next up, let's cover my favorite, which is Super Italy. This might seem absolutely ridiculous, but this is something you could easily use over here in the Alpine region to attack into France and maybe even push through before Germany does over in Belgium and everything else. The reason is because you have a ridiculous, and I mean ridiculous, 443 soft attack. This is 8 infantry mixed with 8 support or um, eight infantry mixed with eight artillery you even have a decent amount of piercing here because of your anti-tank gun you have aa so you can remove some of the penalty you're going to have if you don't have air superiority you're going to do a bunch of damage to their cast you have logistics so it's not going to be that big of a supply issue this is actually going to help a lot 
And probably the funniest part about this is it actually will give you a plus 5% for an amphibious landing if you try to attack somewhere. So this wouldn't be that bad of a decision. Maybe even swap your infantry out for Mountaineers and you will pretty much be able to go right into France usually through the Alpine region. In multiplayer, you might not want to do this. It might be a little bit more complicated because your org's going to be kind of low, but these will work pretty well. This one here is more of the same except with infantry and anti-tank guns. This is going to work extremely well again in Africa if you have to worry about the allies sending tank divisions or something along those lines, mechanized units and all that kind of stuff due to having such amounts of anti-tank. You have a lot of heart attack here that's going to help a lot. Now if I were you, I would send maybe three of these down to Africa if you can afford it because they do take a lot of supply. Even with a logistics company, if we didn't have one it would be two. So you could probably get away with maybe two or three of these towards Africa if you have to worry about Canadian mechanized, South African heavy tanks, you know, Australian, whatever you have to worry about, that should hold most everything tank division wise back that the eye is going to send against you in single player and multiplayer. Now, the reason these, there's so few of these templates is there's not that much Italy can do other than just infantry divisions. Normally, I'll make a lot of tank divisions, but Italy's not that famous for tanks and they don't really have that much tungsten. So there's not going to be a big area for that. They won't have a lot of chrom uh, chromium until they take out Yugoslavia. So maybe you can make some heavy tank divisions out of the ones I'm going to show you for the mediums. But Italy shouldn't really be going tanks. They should be giving a lot of help to Germany through the infantry side of things so they can concentrate on tanks for you. So now I've got that said so you can understand why I'm doing some of these. Next up is our very first tank division. This is just a very basic four tanks, three motorized, and two rocket artillery. This has a good amount of soft attack, decent amount of armor, decent piercing. This could work out pretty well, and usually in multiplayer for all these tank divisions and all this other stuff, if you can, it's very beneficial to double it up, except for the garrison divisions. I wouldn't recommend it for that. But this should be able to work out pretty well in most situations if it's doubled up in 1939. And once in 1942, you might have some issues running this, and you might want to swap these out for some uh, medium self propelled artillery too, or even heavy artillery and stuff like that, but... Anyway, so then finally we have our second tank division. So this is pretty much just a basic one. It's got a good amount of breakthrough. It's got a good amount of defense, good amount of soft attacks, pretty much all around template, except if you have to worry about, again, a lot of tanks, you might want to research the uh, tank destroyer and swap this out for that. So yeah, guys, I know that's not a lot of templates for Italy, but really that's just what works. That's pretty much just what Italy can use, what they can get away with using. You know, stuff like that that's not going to be too demanding on their economy and cause too much production on their side compared to helping the germans push through you know russia africa and stuff like that since mainly italy's just going to be fighting this too little province war over el alamin down here you know and getting pushed back and forth and try to fight in western france i mean let's be honest italy's not gonna do that much other than defend their homeland maybe defend the south part of france to help germany relieve a little bit other than that there's really not that much they're gonna do so that's why you have this here Anyway, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and remember to top right, there are a bunch more template guides, with probably over 50 or 60 different templates for all the countries together now I've shown, and if you're interested in seeing those, make sure to click up there. Also, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Stay awesome.